anyone who's potentially exposed to uh, the coronavirus uh, by inhaling the virus needs to take protection to protect against that. So to do that, they need to wear a, a respirator, respiratory protection. That's the first thing. Second, they need to wear the proper respirator. And third, they have to wear that respirator properly because if they don't wear the proper respirator and they don't use it correctly or properly, they won't get protection against the virus. You would place the respirator over your mouth and nose, take the upper strap, put it over uh, your ears, and take the lower strap and place it below your ears. And that's how it's designed to be to be worn. Uh, so you have to be trained and be careful to get the best possible seal uh, here because you want the air to go through the respirator and not through the leakage path, path between the respirator and, and your face. So again, you would put your hand on the face, uh, take the bottom strap off, top strap, and now your hand presumably is maybe infected the outer side of the uh, uh, respirator may be contaminated, should assume it is. So you should take this respirator, if you're going to use it again, place it in a, a bag or a, a, a container, a safe place, uh, and then take your glove off and, and throw it away. Uh, this uh, disposable respirator uh, might filter out 95% of the particles. Uh, this respirator will filter out 100% of the particles. Researchers have studied how well these work breathing in, and they might filter out 5 or 10% of the particles. And a homemade one of these, which is great people are doing to try to protect themselves, protect other people from them, if you make a homemade one of these out of a material like my shirt, which is just a single layer of a woven fabric, and you breathe in through that woven fabric, it might collect one or 2% of the viral particles.